Today for dinner, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make my favorite Tuscan baked chicken. It's got a delicious creamy Parmesan sauce. Y'all ready? Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start preparing our chicken first. I'm using boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's about one and a half to two pounds. I was able to get some very thin chicken cutlets here that are already very thin. Now, if you have regular chicken breast, you can take those and then slice them lengthwise to make your thin chicken breast. So I took the chicken breasts that were already thinned out and just kind of cut them into portion size pieces. We are going to be using a 9 by 13 baking dish. I'm going to go ahead and start preparing the chicken. Now I've got some avocado oil or you can use a canola oil or even olive oil and I'm just going to drizzle a little bit on top of the chicken. We're just going to coat the chicken with it. Now what I'm going to do is lay the chicken down upside down into our baking dish so that the oil side is down. And this will prevent the chicken from sticking to our baking dish while it's cooking. So you just want one layer. Now if you have a lot of chicken that you're doing, you can do this in two baking dishes. Okay, I have enough right here to fit the whole pan. I'm going to drizzle just a little bit more oil on top of the chicken breast. And what that will do is help the seasonings that we're going to put on stick to the chicken. I'm just going to take the brush again and then just coat the chicken. And then I'm going to talk to you about the seasonings. Just very easy, simple seasonings that I just pulled out of the pantry. Okay, we're going to season. I'm just going to take some salt. I'm going to sprinkle it on the chicken. I'm going to do the same with the black pepper. Just sprinkle it on top. I'm going to put some garlic powder. Just sprinkle that on top. Some onion powder. These are all about a quarter teaspoon to half a teaspoon of seasonings. The paprika gives it a nice flavor and also it'll give it a nice color to the dish also. And then some Italian seasoning. I'm going to set the chicken aside and we're going to make that delicious sauce. The sauce is generally a cream base and it's got Parmesan cheese in it, some garlic in it, it's got black pepper in it, it's got some really delicious flavors. So we're going to start off with a large measuring cup or you can just use a small bowl. We're going to measure out two cups of heavy whipping cream. Now when I first made this recipe years and years ago, I first started with the one cup of heavy cream and then just created the sauce from that. But I've learned that my family loves the sauce and they will hog the sauce <laughs> and leave none for anybody else. So I double the recipe. So if you don't want this much, then you can half the recipe. I've got one teaspoon of garlic powder going in. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just going to take my whisk, blend this all together. And then I have one more thing I'm going to add to this, and that is cornstarch. And we've got one teaspoon. This will help keep the sauce nice and thick and not runny. So we're going to add that. All right, we'll blend this together. To that, I'm going to add half a cup of Parmesan cheese that's shredded. Okay, we're going to talk about the other flavor that's recognized in Tuscan chicken, and that is sun-dried tomatoes. Now, our family doesn't care for that, so I've come up with roasted red bell peppers that come in a jar. The flavor and the texture of that kind of mimics the sun-dried tomatoes, and this is roasted in oils. This is what they look like right here. So I'm just going to put these on the cutting board, just cut these up into bite-sized pieces. So we're looking at about half a cup total. Now if you like the sun-dried tomatoes, you can add those. If you don't have the peppers or the sun-dried tomatoes, you can take a can of diced tomatoes. If you can get them fire roasted, that's even better because it's got a nice flavor to it. And then you can drain that and add that to the dish. All right, we're going to go ahead and add that to our mixture. Okay, I'm just going to take a spatula and just kind of stir this together. We're going to bring our chicken back over. 
We're going to pour the mixture all over the chicken. You just want to drown your chicken. I'm going to place this in the oven for about 16 to 20 minutes until the chicken is cooked through and nice and tender. We're going to pull it out. I'm going to show you how we're going to finish this off because we still have something else to do to give it that Tuscan flair. Now while the chicken is cooking in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and make our noodles that we're going to put the chicken over. Now I'm just using an egg noodle and I'm just going to boil these and get these ready. You can use rice, you can use like potatoes if you want to put your chicken over that or any kind of pasta. So you have options there. And then I'm also going to roast some asparagus. I'm just going to pop them in the oven here really quick. Now I'm just using these asparagus right here. I'm just going to place them onto the sheet pan lined with some parchment paper. I'm just going to take each asparagus and just kind of bend it until it breaks. That way we can get rid of that hard part of the asparagus. And drizzle some oil on them. Got them really good. Now you can flavor them any way you want. I'm going to salt them. Some black pepper. Some garlic. Then we're going to place these in the oven at the same temperature that the chicken is going in and we're just going to keep an eye on those. I'm bringing my pot of water to a boil. Then what we're going to do is place some salt into it. About one tablespoon. We're going to add the noodles. We're going to cook those for the directions on the back of the package. And I'm just going to drain them. Okay, I've just pulled the chicken out of the oven. What I'm going to do is top it with some spinach. About a six ounce package. Alright, we're going to get this to wilt. First off, I'm going to add a little bit of salt on top. I'm going to cover it with some foil. Now we're just covering it with foil to help that spinach wilt. Towels on them. Here we go. Just for a few minutes. All right, I have everything sitting right here. Now I've just pulled out my asparagus about two thirds of the way through or right before these were done. I just topped with some Parmesan cheese to kind of melt on the top. Now my noodles are all cooked right there and I drained them and then I just put a pat of butter in there and coated them so that way they don't all stick together. And then we're gonna wait just three or four minutes for that to be done with the chicken and we're gonna put it all together. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and push the spinach into the sauce, mix it up. Let's go ahead and plate some chicken up for you. All right, here's my plate with the Tuscan baked chicken over my egg noodles. Got that delicious sauce that I poured over the top that has that red bell peppers that were roasted and the spinach. And then I have that asparagus that I roasted with the Parmesan and other flavors. I'm going in for a bite. Mm. Just the way I remember it. The chicken is very tender, cooked through. It's got full of flavor. Oh, what are you going to put yours on? Rice, pasta, or potatoes? Don't forget your asparagus that you can cook alongside of it. All right, y'all, make sure that you give me a like. Comment down below and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Alright guys, I will see you on my next episode.